Hello everyone. Uh, this is Marco. I just um, you know wanted to do this short video to show everybody how the um, that module that I got developed uh, to work alongside the participants plugin actually works. Um, this here is the form. Let me just refresh the page here. Um, and this is the capture form that I particularly set up to capture my um, uh, either coupon codes or voucher codes on my page. So this is a very simple form. This is set up with a short code. Um, I think John was using uh, this particular plugin, so he probably knows what I'm talking about. There's a short code that you put into the page here. It will set up this this form here. Um, which if you go into the participants database plugin which is free by the way um, under the settings here um, you can see that um, it, this is basically how it's set up you've got you know, the, the uh, voucher code field here um, you've got the um, duplicate error message here and your email and all that I, you know you don't have to use this uh, the sign up response email. I don't use it. I use the one NES to member um, system. But um, this is, you know, part of the plugin. So you know, you're free to use it if you want. Um, so the sign up form settings is 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 here, and this is how you set up your whole form. And the module that I got uh, done is is called the validate and and accept coupons. And that module installs alongside this plugin. And what it does is it, um, you know, uh, basically changes some of the functionality that came originally set up with the participants database plugin. And one was that it was checking for duplicates, and I wanted to make sure that um, that my database uh, was checked for to make sure that the coupon code existed. And if it did, then it would. Um, it would send the uh, user to another page which would contain a form which is here by the way it's this form here which is set up by S2 member it's one of the PayPal um, uh, uh, pre-registration forms and what it does here is you know you set up this whole uh, system with a short code has my success page here and some of my details as far as my membership length and and uh, type and all that and this form um, I can probably show you the page let's see here yeah this is your default uh, page so after the coupon code is validated and it is found to be valid in the in the, uh, a database then the person would get um, uh, would get redirected to this page and this is where they would set up you know your basic WordPress setup where you got your password username uh, selection email address uh, first name last name once you click on here then you go to this page which is your uh, success page and this can be any page um, and that would then then uh, they would get an email from s2 member uh, saying that they've you know they've signed up and you know it would give them all their login details um, uh, the other thing that I just wanted to cover is the fact that um, the s2 member plugin does not allow a hundred percent free registrations as as, as as some of you already know um, what it does is you know he has to charge one penny for uh, for any any sort of free uh, uh, sign up process, so this is why. And I and I actually spent a few months looking for for a plugin online that I could use, um, that I could either modify or I could use without. Because um, I contacted the S2 member support team and they weren't helpful in in the sense that they basically said that it it it's not. You know, it's not it, it's not supported right now. It might be in the near future, uh, but they don't know when. So, you know, because I was uh, I was setting up this site and I needed to get it done, I decided to uh, just you know go about it myself. So, what uh, what this does is um, I found the the participants plugin 
uh, by accident actually late at night I was you know searching and searching the internet and and I you know uh, uh, finally found you know uh, uh, this particular plugin and it was pretty close to what I wanted to do so all I had to do is get this this module uh, like developed here which then allowed me to uh, to accept uh, coupon codes um, which originally was part of the of this particular plugin the only problem was it was checking for duplicates and I didn't want to check for duplicates I wanted to check for like I said I wanted to make sure that it existed in the database and if he did it would be a, a success um, uh, basically a, a, a success redirect to to my uh, my sign up form uh, my S2 member sign up form if they it, it it fails then this coupon code uh, you know error message uh, you know pops up on the page the other thing I wanted to show is that with this particular plugin um, you can import a CSV file with all your coupon codes and all you would upload would just be the uh, coupon codes here you don't import the first name or the last name or, or the email um, it takes care of that by itself in the sense that if you go to list participants here you'll see that I've got some some test numbers here but you've got uh, two two signups here um, Simon Rod and this is the email and these are my voucher codes so these were just test voucher codes that I used that I uploaded through the uh, you know the S, uh, you know, the uh, the CSV list and it uploads into, into the database and you know you can upload as many as as, as you want I you believe the system can handle a few thousand at a time um, and once you do that you pretty much just you know it takes care of it uh, by itself here um, you can export the the CSV as well um, and you can download a sample CSV list so if you wanted to set up an Excel sheet to put in your voucher codes into one of the columns just download a sample sheet you know you populate that column with your voucher codes you could copy and paste or you could you know generate them uh, like randomly whatever and then you would upload that same uh, CSV sheet into this system and all your members would show up here as they sign up these voucher codes would be populated with their uh, name last name and emails and of course the only the only thing I think John was asking was that this this particular database is independent of the S2 member database which is part of the WordPress uh, backbone so what happens is I don't really know how how you could do that how you could merge these two databases I personally don't need that functionality because um, I'm just gonna capture the emails here um, and then once you know they, they register uh, you through s2 member on this form here then um, I'll have them an s2 member which then I can do whatever I want with it but um, so it's it's a two-step database, but but for me it it actually works. So I'm not sure if you guys have any problems with it. Um, but other than that, um, I hope I answered all your questions. Um, if you uh, do have any questions, you can just email me, and we can cover it from there. But um, I think it it you know it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. I mean, you've got your fields here your uh, vet, uh, voucher capture form which is a short code by the way that is um, you, you, know, you you put into your any any of your pages that you want to capture the code um, on um, and that would basically take you know take care of it anyway so that's it for now um, if uh, you have any questions just email me and if you're interested in buying this this add-on module um, just send me an email and we can go from there Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this works for you. Thanks very much. Take care.